Dear participants, welcome to the module 5, Planning Audit of Post-Disaster Activities. I see so many happy faces of you since we are coming to the last module of the 5-week e-learning course. Very great! I am Bernardo Stuita Pradana from the Supreme Audit Institution of the Republic of Indonesia. I am very pleased to working and learning together with you in this e-learning course. As you may recall, in the previous module, you already discussed a conceptual framework on post-disaster activities and strategic audit plan. As a result, you would have a list of prioritized performance on the topic ready to be elaborated at an individual audit plan level. This module covers discussion on audit planning and audit reporting of post-disaster activities namely relief and recovery and rehabilitation and reconstruction activities. In the audit planning, we will discuss a series of audit steps where you will elaborate a selected audit topic into audit objectives, audit question, audit criteria, methodology, and so on. We will also discuss the use of audit design metric and discuss as well about audit procedures to facilitate and document our audit plan process as well as to guide our audit work to meet the audit objective. The last part of this module is about audit reporting when we will discuss and provide examples on the contents of audit reports on various areas of post-disaster activities. We hope that by end of this module you will be able to develop an individual performance audit plan on post-disaster activities by demonstrating the use of audit design metric. At last, I would recall the Into Saimoto, Mutual Experience Benefits All. I hope you enjoyed this session and find it useful for our knowledge sharing and learning. I am very much welcome to your question and discussion on this module. Thank you.